He was one of the most powerful pastors in the country, the leader of a 12,000 member megachurch and also the 30 million member National Association of Evangelicals. But in 2006, Ted Haggard was fired when a male escort accused him of paying for sex and crystal meth. Right now my trust is, is questionable. He may be referring to contradictory comments he's made. Do you know Mike Jones? No, I do not know Mike Jones. What did you say his name was? Mike. Mike. But today, Haggard admitted he does know Jones, a former male prostitute in Denver. I did call him. I did call him. Jones said Haggard would sometimes drive his motorcycle and would park a few blocks away. But Wednesday night, Haggard told us he doesn't own one. Do you own a motorcycle? No, I don't. I, I have a little scooter. A scooter? Yeah. Okay, but you don't have a motorcycle? No, I don't have a motorcycle. Okay. But news reports say Haggard does own a motorcycle. I've never done drugs, ever. I'm not a drug man. Today, he admitted he bought meth. I was tempted. I bought it, but I never used it. I called him to buy some meth, but I threw it away. And who were you buying the meth for? No, I was buying it for me, but I never used it. Have you ever used meth before? No, I have not. So, and I, I did not ever use it with him. Hi, Mike. This is Art. Hey, uh, I was just calling to see if we could get any more, uh, either a $100 or $200 supply. And I can pick it up really any time. And did you ever have sex with him? No, I didn't. Haggard confessed in this letter read to the congregation. The fact is, I am guilty of sexual immorality. Gail says she knew her husband struggled with same-sex attractions, but she had no idea how yes, much. Yes, and it felt like the rug got pulled out from under me. I thought we were a family. Now, I violated the rules, no question about it. I am responsible. I just never dreamed that the family would throw me out. And finally, Haggard issued an emotional critique of church leaders, who he said had missed a God-given opportunity to use the scandal to display Christian love. I believe that he gives us opportunities every few years to communicate the gospel worldwide through secular media, and we consistently blow it. A congressperson in trouble, that's the time. A family member gets themselves in horrible trouble, that's the time. A preacher gets himself in awful trouble, that's the time. People want to know, are there going to be more men coming forward now? Is, uh, how well, many? we sure hope not. In something like this, there's no telling what anybody would say. Now, Haggard is dealing with new allegations. 
this time from a former church member named Grant Haas, who says Haggard exposed himself to him in a hotel room. I, I was shocked. I couldn't move. I just I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. I'm like, this is really happening. This is a young man who had been kicked out of Bible school with homosexuality. Yes. And he says you completely violated that trust. And that, in fact, you got into bed with him one night and, and masturbated. Um, yes. Is that true? That is true. I'd talk to people and see if I could get you some money, but I can't do it under the gun of a lawsuit. But it does sound a little bit like you're trying to get him some money to keep him quiet. Well, I wanted him to get treatment. And just but like, you wanted just him to be like quiet. I did through it. I definitely wanted him to be quiet, especially then.